Our next drill is our run pursuit drill. So uh, set up similar, similarly to our touchdown drill with the cans, we just use uh, trash barrels basically to simulate the offensive line. Uh, for this drill, I only need two running backs, uh, and I, I like to have a full defense. If there's more than a full defense and we have a lot of guys to rotate through, you know, I'll put 13 guys out there. As long, you know, maybe we put an extra safety right next to the guy, just so they can work. We can get as many reps as we can uh, without demanding exactly 11. It's tough when it's really chaotic. We just want guys to to practice the skill of pursuing a run play. So uh, for the drill, I'll start it off with a cadence, and and I'll usually move the center barrel to to let the defensive line practice their their get offs. And then what happens on every play is both running backs will run to the sideline. Um, they'll run on kind of a wide pitch type of pattern. Um, I can use a ball and toss it to them, or I can just point to a man. Uh, that'll save us time getting the ball after the rep um, and all that stuff. So uh, sometimes I like to not use a ball because it, it saves a lot of time. So maybe I just point to a guy that's running, and that's who they have to chase down. So let's say I tossed it to this runner or I pointed to him or whatever. His pattern is going to continue. He's going to run all the way up as if he broke a run play loose. The job of our entire defense is to not follow your own color. We say don't follow your own color and run in straight lines. Cut like a wide receiver uh, and be an athlete, I guess. Um, so the, in that example, we, we need to make sure that, you know, maybe our defensive end, he gets upfield a yard, and then he gets to an angle where he can make the play. Get to where he's going, not to where he used to be. Uh, we, want, we tell them, put one foot in the ground and change your direction. Don't round corners. Don't. Don't lift your level and don't be lazy. Um, same thing would happen with the tackle. He would get through his A-gap, and then he would start to pursue. And as soon as he sees his own color in the lane he wants to go to, he has to choose a different lane. So he would choose maybe that lane. And this tackle maybe gets caught up, and he sees color in his lane, so he starts choosing a deeper lane. And what ends up developing is you get everybody uh, pursuing down the line, and everybody should be breaking down and simulating a tag or a tackle on the man. We don't actually tackle in this drill because I don't want this guy to slow down. We save our hitting for other drills. Um, so really we practice breaking down and, and maybe shooting your hands and um, you know, simulating like you were going to tackle him. Um, you know, if we went on with this, this end would maybe take this angle. This linebacker, as soon as the play developed, maybe he even sneaks in right here because that's his, his read. Maybe the mic even sneaks through the B-gap. As long as they're practicing pursuing a play the way they would in a real game, taking care of their run gaps and then getting into their pursuit lanes. That's, that's huge for me. Um, you know, this guy might take this lane. The safety might check for pass, and then he's coming downhill, and he's got this spot. Safety check and pass. Maybe he's got something a little deeper. Um, the cornerback, in this case, if we're running a more of a scheme-based drill, if the corner has a, a force responsibility, which means he's playing outside in, he might be the only guy that I'll have tagged from the outside. I want everybody else to pursue it from the inside out. And then this corner on the backside, if he's normally a force player, he's what we call a troubles player. So we say that's a trick play, reverse, and bootlegs. Uh, so any sort of trick play, reverse, counter, bootleg, any of that stuff, we say troubles. So he's going to check for troubles, and then he's going to go. Once in a while, I'll point to this runner, and then in the last minute, I'll point to the other runner, and I'll say reverse. And then this kid needs to make sure he's there. So I'll check on him once in a while. But let's say we kept it as a regular toss to this man. This corner is going to check, check, check. And then he's going to be a touchdown saver. He's really going to be the last one to make that tag on the man. So that's our run pursuit drill. We can add in uh, turnover type stuff to it. Maybe the, the last man is responsible for ripping the ball out and the ball falls on the ground. We all scoop and score and we all run down. Uh, usually we try to break down the drill with a you know some sort of one, two, three, you know, break down, wind them, whatever, um, but something to get the team flying around. So that's our run pursuit drill.